Hi guys, welcome to week one of Vlog Chadwick. Today I just have, you know, random stuff. <laughs> then we'll go over. Uh, we got, you know, leak, um, Geek Leak, we got um, limericks from the locker, music recommendation, all good stuff coming at you. Um, but right now I just wanted to kind of let you know a little bit more about me. Just like kind of what's happening lately. First off today, I got my first uh, Netflix DVD. Uh, I'm on a free trial right now. I love free trials. I've been watching like a ton of movies online instantly and got Bolt today. So um, got something that my siblings can watch too. Plus I love that movie. I cried in it the first time I saw it. That is not a lie. I also have no money right now. Just a bunch of cards. Plus I got a card today from my Aunt Connie, Uncle Joe, and Cousin Sarah. And uh, I did some picture stuff for them. Seriously, like my Aunt Connie and Uncle Joe are the bomb. And they sent me some gift cards to Quick Trip Gas and Subway and McDonald's. Like I just watched Food Inc. and eating at McDonald's scares me. So that was awesome of them. I'm gonna take a picture of you in 3D and then you can be like Avatar. Darn. Well, it was worth a shot. I'm getting over to my friend Derek's tonight to play Apples to Apples with a bunch of people, hopefully. So anyways, let's get on with the show. Vlog Chadwick. I love you, Pam. Oh, oh, I love you too. <laughs> So this week's music recommendation is Monster Monster by The Almost, and we have a special guest with us today, Aaron Gillespie, um, and uh, so, uh, Aaron, I just really enjoy this new album, and I can't seem to stop listening to it, and can you just tell us a bit about Monster Monster and what it's about? Oh, thanks man. Um, it's, it's a track about the darkness of all of our lives, and <clears throat> just how we're searching and praying to get out of it, and being in the open, and become free from it. Awesome. Uh, that's great. Um, how did you approach this recording? Um, different from Southern Weather, um, you know, how did they compare? Uh, the approach was different in the sense where we were a full band this time, and as opposed to just on Southern Weather, it was just me playing a few years ago. So it was super refreshing to have like these talented dudes and just at the helm writing and playing with me. And, I truly believe it made for a much better, better project. Who, who's your favorite bands to play with um, on tour? Who, why? Who and why? Taking Back Sunday, Norma Jean, The Providence. Too many to count, really. Uh, just touring with bands that you know is always the best. Um, it's like a large, prolonged hangout and being with people you know and love. It's always the best. That's true. From the tours that I've been on, um, playing. Um, it's really cool. I mean, you can get really close to uh, people that you go on tour with, and it's, it's like a continued family, so I can understand that. Um, as for me, this this pretty much goes for me too, but um, a lot of bands complain about eating pizza every night, so what is like your favorite meal on the road? Yeah, pizza does get old. Uh, it makes me fat, and so I definitely do get sick of it, but um, uh, you know, I just like a good salad or something, you know. Tuna melts. Tuna melts are good too. Um, but pretty much anything besides fast food or beets. Oh, I can totally understand the fast food thing. Have you seen um, Food Inc? Um, man, that movie is just, oh, just crazy. Yeah, I saw that too. That that movie uh, opens your eyes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Well, thanks again for coming here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, I subscribed to your videos. They're pretty hilarious. So. I'm glad to be of help. Oh man, you're too kind. That's, oh, you're awesome. Awesome. Well, we'll see you again next week. Um, if you would like to get um, Aaron's new CD, the, um, the Almost Monster Monster, um, it's available on iTunes and Amazon and off their website. Um, so check them out. And uh, we'll see you again next time for your music recommendation of the week.
you see that? Sheldon, and it's time for Dignity Tech from the Toilet. Today we're going to be talking about nuclear batteries and what what we have looked to look for in, for in 2010. It says, are you tired of short laptop battery life only lasting for a few hours? Or your, your cell phone only lasting for a mere day? Well, those days will soon be over because they are developing in Missouri at the University of Missouri, a new battery with nuclear power. And it's, it's right now in its patented development stage. It's about the size of a penny, and they want to get it down to about the size of a human hair. Because right now it's so powerful, just at the size of a penny, that it's too powerful for, like, it's just overkill. So they want to get it down to the size of a human hair, so it will work for your cell phones and stuff like that. Jay Kwan, the assistant professor of electrical and computer engineering at the University of Missouri, said that the, the, this new battery can provide power density that is six orders of magnitude higher than chemical batteries. That is to say, it provides no less than a million times more charge than normal batteries today. I find this amazing, and so I'm very excited for this um, because that battery is something I hate. So, if you if you have problems with your batteries dying, comment and tell me what, what you have and what, how it doesn't charge or stay charged very long. Like my cell phone, it just dies. And I charge it. If I text all day, it's dead by the night. And that just drives me crazy. So anyways, so that's what tech from the toilet geek leak is for this week. And uh, we'll see you next time. This has been Sheldon. See you later. Geek Leak has been sponsored by Sherwin Williams. A white man, a black bear, and a red fox were all trapped inside of a box. The bear ate the man, and the fox had a plan, but in which they needed an ox. There once was a man from St. Paul who loved it there in the fall. The leaves would come down and color the ground, but now there are no trees at all. Sarah N23 is the only one that actually asked me a question from the pilot episode. So um, remember to comment and ask me questions. Um, it could be anything, and I'll pick one or a few, depending on how many questions are asked. Since there's only one, I can only answer one. And that question was, what inspired me to make this vlog? And my friend Venetia um, started doing one um, recently, and I've been wanting to do one for a long time. Since she started one, um, I was inspired, I guess, um, to start one uh, now. And, um, so anyways, so that's basically it. I've just always wanted to do one, and, um, my friend started doing one, so I wanted to do the same. And, um, hopefully, I mean, these will get, you know, better, I'm hoping. Right now it's winter, so I can't go outside, I can't do anything too fun. Um, everything's just shot in my house, so, kind of have to roll with punches right now for a few months, but, um, yeah. So that's the reason behind that. So remember to comment and ask questions so I can answer it um, and let you know a little more about me. So, thanks. You better rate this video a five if you want to stay alive, you city slicker.